a little bit of watery eye and cheesing like that emoji because I'm in uncle mode for the show today. I've been asked a few times, do I do photos for events like Sweet Seats Thieves and birthday parties, older, younger, and yes and no. Purely opinion time, let me put like the opinion bars around the screen. And not, not really my thing, I'm just making that up as I go. My opinion is, I kind of think that someone who's got a rapport already with whoever the subject is probably works a little bit better. I just don't feel like that's really the strongest suit for me to come roll in and do pictures of people that I'm not terribly familiar with and aren't really familiar with me in the camera and my process of going through photographs. Okay, so opinion out of the way. It was my niece's fifth birthday and my sis is probably one of my favorite unofficial interior designers. She always has the place looking absolutely adorable for these birthday parties and their house looks good all the time. Anyways, I don't know why I haven't asked her to come over here and rig me up some interior design work. I could use some stuff. Anyways, birthday parties are a fun challenge for me because I had an idea to use a flash and trigger that off. Didn't work. I bought a newer branded one. That's the brand newer for $12 to $14 off of Amazon where you can also get these t-shirts, by the way, plug, plug. And it didn't work. I changed the battery out, it worked. Went to shoot and the battery didn't work again. I took it apart and did match get the better work. So I don't know if it's just always on, always using power, what the case might that would be. My review is probably two stars out of five. I mean, I thought it is kind of a niche thing to play with from time to time. So that's exactly what it's gonna end up being. So that idea went out the window, but that's probably not a bad thing that went out the window because flashing over and over can get kind of annoying to people. Especially again, those who just aren't really familiar with being in front of cameras and things like that. So just had to bump up the ISO to around 400 on the camera and shoot with my pancake lens. It's a little bit flatter lens like I like to use from time to time. It's a little less intimidating than sticking a long scope in somebody's face. F 2.8 on the aperture, 400 ISO, pretty much was good to go all day long for this party. Okay, so I know this hasn't been the most tip-filled vlog that I've ever done here with you, but I just want to share my thoughts on doing these events. I get asked about them every now and then, and I don't even have them offered on photo17.com. And honestly, uh, I'm not trying to be terrible. I don't really know exactly who specializes in these kind of events around here. I would love for you to have the photos taken, but it's just not a thing that I'm super comfortable always doing. There's just a bunch of variables in it. Okay, so that's all I've got for today. Please hit that like button. It really does make a difference for us as we try to build this channel up a little bit more. Also, subscribe to never miss a shot on photo17.com, the online home of Carolina's photography.